Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing something of a tutorial video showing you guys the basics of a mixer. So for those of you that don't know, a mixer is this piece of kit here. Basically its purpose is to take various different audio inputs, so for example musical instruments, microphones, or even sort of external audios like MP3 players and hi-fis, and to harmonize them into a single output so that you could broadcast it say at live events or at recording st uh, sessions. So, uh, I'm going to be explaining the basics of how to set one up and how to use it, but I won't be doing anything advanced with it today. So, uh, some of the other equipment that goes with it is a microphone and an audio recorder, so I'll explain a little bit about those as well. So, the mixer itself is a Wolfdale Pro. Uh, it's very much on the budget end of the spectrum. It's about uh, 40 British pounds, which is what, about 70 American dollars, maybe 60 American dollars, and it's certainly one of the cheaper ones you can get. But it's really not bad for the amount that you actually end up paying for it. I tried out a few different um, makes and models, and uh, and this is probably the best one you can get in terms of you know uh, in terms of a budget model. So next up is the microphone. This is very much a budget microphone as well. It's an Alba unidirectional microphone with a 3.5 millimeter output, which is the kind of um, output that goes into your laptop or PC. It's very much a basic microphone, but I do like to have one um, lying around because their build quality isn't actually too bad. Their audio quality isn't too bad for the amount you pay for it, but also if it breaks, I don't have too many qualms about replacing it because, you know, it's not too expensive. This is the Tascam DR07 Mark II, which is an audio recorder and is a fantastic audio recorder at that. This cost me 120 British pounds, which is about, what, 160 American dollars, and it was worth every single penny. Yes, it's a little bit on the pricey side, but it records very, very clean audio, even out of its built-in microphones, which are these two weird looking things at the top here. And it has an input of a 3.5 millimeter jack, which is the same as this one, and an output of a 3.5 millimeter jack. So anything that comes out uh, as a 3.5 millimeter jack, it will record it and will amplify it if necessary, which is pretty damn awesome. It also has levels on that as well, so you can make sure things don't get too loud. So, now that you know the basics of the equipment, I'm now going to show you how to set it up. So as you can see by this indicated power light here, that the mixer is already on. What's important to remember when setting up mixers is to always remember that all of your levels and volume controls are set at zero, so you don't get any unexpected surprises when you plug anything in. So, this is a 3.5 millimeter jack, but it needs to go into this mic one here. But this is too big a hole, which means that we're going to need to employ an adapter. So adapters are basically ten a penny. I think you can get get them for about a pound or a dollar each online. It's worth just picking up a load of them uh, because three point five millimeter uh, jacks are actually very very common, um, and it's always nice to be able to uh, to use them on a mixer should you require so. I will point out that mixers don't take every kind of three point five millimeter microphone though. They don't take uh, microphones like lavalier mics and headset mics that are designed to go into a PC because they are powered uh, a different way. Um, but this is very much a proper microphone, I guess is the best way to explain it. Um, so you can use a an adapter and plug it in here. Now this little hole above where the microphone goes in is an XLR socket and that's designed for mics with an XLR output, which is pretty self-explanatory there. So of course I'm going to want to record everything that this mixer does using this audio recorder here. You can also plug mixers directly into your PC as well, but for the sake of a nice simple tutorial I'm just going to use this audio recorder. So I'm going to do a record everything using this cable here. Now on one, one end of the cables we have two RCA uh, jacks and on the other side we have one 3.5 millimeter jack. So the two RCA jacks here will go into the RCA output. Uh, and just about every mixer in the world will have the RCA output. And this 3.5 will go into the input into the audio recorder. Now I'm just going to turn on the audio recorder. So the levels on the audio recorder are already set, so I won't really go into that, but I may do another video talking about the Tascam because it's, well, it's worth a video of its own. And of course I'm going to want to actually hear what the mixer is actually mixing, so in order to do that I simply just need my 3.5mm headphones and I can plug them into the headphone jack here. 
Now that being said, most mixers don't come with a 3.5 millimeter headphone output, so you may require another one of these adapters. So for the purposes of this specific setup, I actually have the ability to listen to the recording directly using the audio recorder. So rather than listen through the mixer, which is what I would do most of the time, I'm actually going to uh, take the headphones uh, and put them in the headphone socket of the recorder so that I know that it's recording correctly rather than just mixing correctly. Usually you'd have the headphones there. So as previously mentioned, all of the volume and gain levels are set at zero to prevent any unexpected loud surprises. So in a few moments time, I'm going to be switching over the soundtrack to what's being produced by this audio recorder here. So you can hear firsthand the kind of quality to expect from this kind of mixer, as well as to hear what it's like to actually set the levels on things like a microphone. But just to make this a little bit easier for myself, I'm going to take the microphone here and I'm going to mount it in my microphone stand, which I've got here. So when setting the correct audio levels for the microphone, there are a few controls that you need to take into account. The first one here, this red one, which is the gain, which acts as the first level of amplification for the microphone or whatever musical instrument you happen to have plugged in here. This one here is the level control for everything which is uh, affected by this first column of dials here. This one here is the main mix. This is the final output volume. So if you just want to mute everything all at once, you just turn that to zero. And this, this effectively acts as your main volume control. This one here is your headphones volume control. Now, because I'm uh, using the headphones connected to the Tascam and not connected to the mixer, this uh, dial will not affect what I am hearing. Okay, so to begin, we're gonna start with the gain and I'm gonna switch it up about 20 to 30% of the way. I'm gonna also switch the first volume level about 20 to 30 percent of the way and I'm going to do the same with the main mix and now I'm going to speak into the microphone so this still sounds a little bit on the quiet side for me so I'm going to switch up first of all the gain then the level and that's 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 about right now one thing that we do need to take into account as well is the um, lights here. Now, because my audio recorder records things at much lower levels, it's actually recording sound before it even registers on these lights here. So what I'm gonna quickly do is I'm gonna show you what the lights look like when um, you know I'm speaking into it, but um, I'm gonna be setting the volume a lot higher, so I'm gonna switch away from the audio uh, device now because that's going to show you a very distorted sound but I, I do want to show you what the lights look like okay okay so now you can see that the lights themselves um, actually go up and down with the volume of my voice ideally you do not want more than the first two green lights here to be lit up if they uh, if they comfortably if the volume of your voice comfortably takes up the first two levels of lights on the mixer, that's about the correct volume. Okay. So you may notice that there is a little bit of background sound with this mixer. Uh, this is partly because this is an inexpensive mixer, it's very much a budget model, but also all mixers give you some degree of background noise. This is usually very quickly drowned out when you add more and more channels in, uh, certainly when it comes to things like music as well. So uh, this is the very fundamental setup of how to get a microphone to work through a mixer. But if you're only using a microphone, uh, then there's not really much call for a mixer because a mix is designed to harmonize different audio inputs. So I'm going to show you how to do just that using one other small piece of kit. This here is a cable which at both ends has a 3.5 millimeter jack. They're very, very inexpensive. You can pick them up on the internet for next to nothing. And what I'm going to do is with one end, I'm going to plug into the headphone socket of my PC. With the other end, I'm going to apply an adapter and put it into an auxiliary input. I'm also going to make sure, of course, that the uh, auxiliary input volumes are at zero. Like I said, I don't want to get any unexpected surprises. Yep, at zero. So I'm going to plug this end into the mono 
of line three and four. So this is uh, the first input. This is the second. This is three and four. Three and four being left and right. That's five and six, seven and eight, nine and ten. And that's main out as well. So if I had two big speakers, for example, I could plug the left one into here, the right one into here, and then uh, I could have loudspeakers for a live event as well. So I'm gonna, now going to plug the 3.5 millimeter cable into the uh, headphone socket of my PC. Right now, because the volume is set at zero, you're not going to be able to hear what sound my PC is producing. However, I've got it uh, as a song on a loop. So what I'm going to do is, quite, uh, is uh, slowly turn up the level, which is uh, this one here. It's labeled three and four, as you can see at the bottom if you're watching this in high def. And this here at the top is three and four, which I plugged it in, or more specifically, just three. And I'm going to turn it up. And there you go. That is basically how you can mix and blend sounds together. So as you can see, this is actually quite a fun piece of equipment to, uh, to actually play around with. So I'm just going to lower the levels on the uh, external audio now, uh, just so that I can actually uh, sort of talk a little bit more uh, more properly. Um, so basically, yeah, various uses for this might include um, podcasts, uh, live music events or recorded music events, or, um, and I have seen Let's Players use these devices uh, occasionally so that they can actually balance their audio with the gameplay audio um, very nicely, especially if they're doing live streams and they can actually change all the volumes on the fly very easily. Obviously, this is uh, perhaps a piece of kit that you're, you're professional let's player might use and and that your uh, your hobbyist wouldn't i wouldn't use it because well quite frankly it's it's awfully very it's very complicated for what is effectively doing a very simple task um but i certainly am going to be uh using it uh when working on various projects with uh, with friends of mine as well and uh yeah they are very very easy to use they work on every single operating system under the sun or in fact you don't even of course need a computer to use one you can actually record a um a live session or a studio session or whatever uh with no computer whatsoever um but nowadays of course computers do tend to uh, to come into uh audio editing um simply because they do give you quite a lot more options but um yeah this is a particularly good audio mixer for 40 british pounds and uh, if you do have that kind of money lying around, I certainly would recommend um, just having a cheap mixer because um, they are quite uh, quite fun to play around with, and you can do uh, you can do quite a lot with them, especially if you are say doing a podcast or uh, or have any friends that uh, that are into music. So I hope this tutorial has been interesting, if not informative, to at least a few of you out there. I decided to make it because even though mixing audio is something of a very simple process, there aren't really that many tutorials, or at least there aren't that many video tutorials that really show you how to mix audio right from the uh, right from the very beginning. So I thought I might do a video tutorial just to show you guys so um thanks very 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 much for watching um until next time i've been chris ware and you've been awesome take care now